All right, long division. So we're doing this problem here, 96 divided by 17. Sometimes you'll see it written this way. This is sometimes um, a way of writing fractions or ratios. Okay, so there's that way of writing it. Sometimes you write it this way as a fraction, 96 over 17. Okay, that's another way that you could write it. Traditionally, you know, they just 96 divided by 17. Okay, uh, this is kind of how we're going to do it for our long division. We're going to set it up this way. Okay, here we have your 96. I write uh, decimals, so dot, and a bunch of zeros here, and then 17 over here. And what you're going to need to do to start is you're going to need to make a table between 1 through 10. Okay, like this. So you have 17 times 1 gives us 17. Okay, 17 times 2 gives us 34. And how to kind of make these charts really fast is by doing your mental arithmetic. Okay, so 17, 17 times 2 gives us 34. So way to do that is if, let's say that this is the inside of your mind, is you're doubling the number 17. Okay, you ask yourself, one doubled gives me two. Okay, so you're going to hold that number two inside your mind. Okay, but then you see that there's going to be a carryover because when we double 17, we get 14. Okay, so this one has to carry over. So we get our answer is 34. Okay, 34. Now, if we're going to do 17 times 3, just add 34 and 17 together. Okay, you could almost do this in your mind. 4 and 7 gives us 11, so write a, zero, uh, write a 1, carry a 1. Okay, remember in our Vedic mass, we do our 1s, just a little dot. So now we have 1, 3, and 1. 1 and 3 is 4. 4 and 1 is 5. So we have 51. Okay, here we have 51. Okay, to get 68, simple, just double the number, uh, well, because you have 4, 17 times 4 is 17 times 2, but doubled. Okay, double, double the times 2. So here we have times 2 is 34, 34 doubled, you can see that, 68. Okay, 3 doubled is 6. Okay, hold that number in your mind before you write it down. 4 doubled is 8. Is there a carryover? No, there's no carryover. Okay, because 4 doubled is 8. So we get our answer 68. Okay, how to do 17 times 5. Well, 3 plus 2 gives us 5. 3 and 2 give us 5. So we can simply add these two together, 51 and 34. Okay, you could pretty much do that in your mind. 1 and 4 gives us 5. 5 and 3 gives us 8. So we write down the number 85. Okay, 17 times 6. 17 times 6 is 102. Well, 6 is 3 doubled, so we double 51, okay, 51 doubled, 5 doubled is 10, 1 doubled is 2, so we get our answer 102, okay, 17 times 6 is 102, 17 times 7, okay, we could add, to get the number 7, we could add 6 plus 1, so 102 plus 17, 102 plus 17 gives us 119. Let's write that 119 there. Okay, 17 times 8. 17 times 8. Let's see, what combination do you think we could add to get that's really easy? The easiest combination, I think, is if we add the 6 and the 2. 6 plus 2 give us 8. So we're going to add 102 plus 34. 136. Can we add that in there? 136. Now 17 times 9. What do we have here? 17 times 9. 9 is, let's see, 6. 6 plus 3 gives us 9. 6 plus 3 gives us 9. Okay, so 6, we have 102. 3, we have 51. So... 17 times 9 gives us 153, and then 17 times 10 is 170. Okay, you're just going to add a zero at the end. 17 times 10 gives us 170. So this is kind of a quick way to get these numbers is just doing your mental arithmetic, um, doubling when you need to, adding combinations, adding the easiest combinations. And you're going to want to make a chart like this from 1 to 10. Okay, from 1 to 10, you're going to want to make a chart. So these are your multiples of the number 17. And now that we have our multiples, we could go ahead and start our calculation. 
So here's what we're going to want to do. We're going to say 17 goes into 96. How many times? 17 goes into 96. How many times? Let's find 96 on here. Where is 96? 96 is between 85 and 102. Okay, 96 is right here in between these two numbers. Okay, 96 is right, right in between these two numbers. So we're going to go, we're going to take the next number down. Okay, this 5. So 96 is here. We're going to take the number down from that. Okay, if it's in the middle, 96 is in the middle, we're going to take the number down. So we're going to write that number 5. Okay, we're going to say 5 times 17 is what? 5 times 17. 5 times 17 gives us 85. So we write 85. Now we subtract. Okay, 6 minus 5 gives us 1. 9 minus 8 gives us 1. Okay, 11. Now is 11 on this chart? No, 11 is not on this chart. Okay, so we start at 17. 11 is not on this chart. So what we need to do is bring down a 0. Okay, now we have 110. Where is 110 on this chart? 110 is right here in between 102 and 119. Okay, 110 is right in between these two numbers. 102 and 119. So we look at that, 102 and 119, and we take the number down. So it's in the middle. We're going to take the number down 6. Okay, so we draw a decimal, 5.6. Now 6 times 17, 6 times 17 is 102. So we write 102. Now we subtract. Okay, it gives us 8. Now is 8 on the chart? No, 8's not on the chart, so we need to bring a 0 down. Now, where is 80 on this chart? 80 is between 68 and 85. Okay, 80 is right here between 68 and 85. So it's in between these two numbers. We take the number down, 4. Okay, and we write that in. So 4 times 17 is 68. So we're going to write 68. Subtract. 80 minus 68 gives us 12. Okay, 12 is not on this chart, so we need to bring down a 0. 120. Where is 120? 120 is here. Between 119 and 136. Okay, it's right between these two numbers. So we need to take the number down from that. Okay, it's right here in between these numbers. We're going to take the 7. We write that in 7. Okay, 7 times 17 is 119. So we write 119. Subtract. 120 minus 119 gives us 1. Okay, 1's not on the chart, so we bring down a 0. Okay, 10's not on the chart. So we write a 0 and bring down another 0. Okay, 100. Where is 100 on this chart? Okay, where is 100? 100 is here. Between 85 and 102. Okay, between 85 and 102, that's where 100 is. So we take the number down times 5. Okay, 100 is right here. So we take the number down 5. And we write that number 5 in up here. 5 times 17. 5 times 17 gives us 85. So we write the number 85. Okay, 100 minus 85 gives us 15. Is 15 on this chart? No, so we bring a 0 down. Okay, we write 150. Now, where is 150 on this chart? 150 is up here between 8 and 9. 150 is right here. Okay, between these two numbers. So we take the number down. Okay, it's in the middle. We take the number down, 8, and we write it in. Okay, if you want to keep doing this, you could just you keep repeating this process of subtracting, bringing zeros down. Okay? And this is your this is your technique or algorithm for finding your long division. You're going to want to start with this. Okay? Then do your subtraction, bringing zeros down. Okay, if you like this technique, like leave a like on my uh, on my video 
subscribe to my channel for more or leave a comment down below. Thank you.